how have you been impacted as a black woman working in this middle space? Uh, the classical education movement is notoriously seen as kind of like a white or privileged sort of like sub alternate universe, you know, breaking away from K-12. Like in my world right now in public education, it's like there is a huge civil war going on between conservatives and progressives over like what's taught in the education, the public school education mm-hmm. board is being ripped apart. And, and therefore to like take your kids out of that into classical ed is seen as the ultimate kind of like, yeah, elitist retreat, you know, largely white sort of move. Do you catch flack for the work that you do? I don't know if you speak to that. I know it's a hard question. So I would say, that I have not, but here's my caveat on that. I am not really active on social media. Mm -hmm. And I think that that is a large part of the reason why I am not embroiled in arguments and, you know, pushback and so on. I kind of do my work, you know, I have my daughters, I do my educational work. When I speak with others about um, the the work that I do in the community with my nonprofit, which focuses on classical education for um, diverse children, children from diverse backgrounds, I have, you know, pretty much only gotten welcome, you know, from people of color and Mm -hmm. um, also from white Americans who are very interested in supporting the work. So, I have not gotten, you know, why are you having these kids read Homer? Why are you doing that? But I also think it's because of the particular way we do it. Mm -hmm. So for instance, um, in the community program in Yansa Classical Community, when we read Homer, um, the Odyssey, Mm -hmm. we also look at the the artwork of Romare Bearden, who was an Mm -hmm. African-American artist who has this beautiful series called The Black Odyssey. And it's a series of paintings and um, collage art that retells the story of the Odyssey through the lenses of African and African-American history and culture. It's absolutely beautiful. And I encourage you and your listeners, if you haven't looked at it, go and do a Google search of Romare Bearden Mm -hmm. and the Black Odyssey. And I think your mind will be blown, you know, at the beauty of the images Um, He's got, you know, say, Circe, the Cyclops, Home to Ithaca is one really kind of striking panel. So when we study these things, we put them into conversation with each other. So it's not as if I am telling my Black and Brown students, you know, this is the only way. I'm saying, look how your people have innovated on these themes. Mm -hmm. So we read Mm -hmm. the classic and then we also engage with that classic through the lenses of different kinds of cultures and histories. Mm -hmm. So that might also be one of the reasons that I don't really get a lot of pushback. Um, I have, um, you know, spoken with scholars in um, classics, you know, in, in academia and in classics. And you may have followed some of the, the politics in classics recently. There, there's, it's, it's been roiling quite a bit over issues of, of race and inequality and whiteness and so on. Yeah. Um, there's, there's a lot of blood spilled mm-hmm. in, in that. <laughs> yes. um, I have only gotten support. Mm. But again, I think it's because of the particular way we go about doing yeah. things is yeah. that I very self-consciously blend together the traditions and put them in conversation. Yeah. So it's not a kind of, you know, immersing the children in whiteness only. Um, it's yeah. let's look at these beautiful classics. They happen to have been written, you know, by Greek writers, but it's wonderful. Let's study it. And then also let's see how some from your own community have interacted with that and they've innovated on it, you know, kind of the image of, of jazz, right. You've you've got different musical traditions coming together in a beautiful way to create something new. 